Hey there, everybody. I'm Evan, and welcome to Codify Academy. As I said, my name is Evan. I'm lead mentor here at Codify, so you will be hearing from me a lot, not just through these videos, but also in our Slack workspace, likely in your classes, social media. You'll be hearing from me all the time. You'll be sick of me. But my name is Evan, lead mentor. You can come to me with issues if you have them. We will, of course, discuss proper channels for any obstacles you may run into, any scenarios that may pop up, uh, anything that may surprise us. But right now, I'm just here to help you get oriented and set up with the course. So over the course of the next several videos, this being of our pre-work playlist, uh, over the course of the next several videos, I will take you through how the course will work Okay, how the course will work, and that's not just the syllabus, the curriculum, such as it is, um, but also how, uh, what, what the goals and objectives of each class session will be. Um, what's going to be expected of you from each class session, how you're going to need to prepare for each class session, all this and more. After that, we're going to get you set up with all of the tools that you need. So we're going to show you how to install Google Chrome, which will be the web browser we're using. We're going to get you installing and signing into Slack so you can have access to Codify Slack workspace. Um, and there will be quite a bit more to say about Slack. But the long and short of it right now is we use Slack to communicate 100% of the time. Unless there's an absolute emergency, you will reach out to us and we will reach out to you over Slack. So you are mandated to check your Slack on a daily basis. Once you install it, it should be on your phone, it should be on your computer, you should receive notifications if anybody sends a message directly to you. So it's very easy to keep track of, but you should get into the habit of checking your Slack every day. Anyway, more on that later. In addition to Slack, we'll get you set up with your text editor, or IDE, your text editor. Uh, at this point in time, we are recommending Sublime Text 3. The text editor that you use is not that important. It's not important at all. We're going to use our text editor to write code. It doesn't matter what editor we're writing it in. However, for consistency's sake, I recommend Sublime Text 3. I'm going to be using Sublime Text 3. You're going to see Sublime Text 3 throughout these videos. So if you want the content on your screen to look identical to the content in the videos, what you're seeing on screen in the videos, then Sublime Text 3 is the way to go. It's a very straightforward and uh, easy to use text editor, so it's a great place to start. After that, we're going to have you set up the file structure on your computer that you will need to start coding, which means we're going to help you set up your Codify folder, and we're going to help you set up your all important template folder. Okay, I'll go into those later, but the template folder is a critical piece that we're going to walk you through setting up. After that, we're actually going to start learning some code. Uh, there will be a brief intro to HTML and CSS, the two languages with which we'll start. We're going to start off at a pretty easy pace, pretty, pretty um, nice and slow pace not going to be uh, an information overload just yet. And once we've gotten a little bit of mileage under our belt, a little bit of code written, a little bit of the concepts down, we're going to move on to things like keyboard shortcuts. Okay, I know not everyone here is necessarily, well, necessarily feels like an expert at using their computer. And that's not unusual at all. That's not uncommon. If that describes you, don't panic. Don't worry. This is still for you. This can still be for you. Okay, so we're going to take you through some very, very helpful keyboard shortcuts and way to make and ways to make your lives easier as you code or as you use your computer for anything at all, really. In addition, we will talk about commenting your code what that means, what it's for, and why you should always do it. Um, after that, we will dive a little bit deeper into HTML and CSS. Not too deep. 
we're going to show you some more. We're going to review what we've already discussed. And we're going to put together our first website together. After that, um, you will see me replicate an existing Codify website. And the reason why you're going to see me do this is because replication is one of the key ways in which you will be exercising those coding muscles and flexing that frustration muscle in the first weeks of this course. Replication is a huge part of learning to code. Okay, And I don't want you to think of it as copying. This is much like drawing from observation or drawing from a master painting or playing a song on the piano that's already been written. This is simply a means of practice and developing the skills that you need in order to move on and create your own content. You're always going to play Mozart on the piano before you start composing your own music. You're always going to play Van Halen on the guitar before you start writing your own songs. Okay? So that's what you're going to see. And the reason why you're going to see it is because I want you to understand how to approach it, how to do it, how to get yourself set up for it. Um, and hopefully it should help resolve a lot of your guys' questions before you even have to ask them. Okay. After that, I will dive into some additional resources which we'll be using throughout the course and which you should use throughout the course as reference to help you when you get stuck, when you encounter an obstacle, or when you run across something new and are not quite sure what it is that you're looking at. We're going to talk about how to handle that situation and some resources that will help us out. Finally, to cap it all off, I will come back to what is going to be expected of you guys. What is going to be expected of you guys? That is important because this is a great program, and we are going to work our butts off to make sure that all of you reach the finish line and all of you accomplish the goals that you set out to accomplish, but we can only do that with the right willpower and effort and commitment from you. There's only so far that we can take you. The course is not a magic pill that will change your life. We will show you how. We will hold your hand for part of the way. We will kick you in the butt when it's necessary, but you need to be committed to changing your life in order to change your life through this course, okay? So uh, with that, we can dive in, and I just want to say, please watch these videos more than once, at least the ones which aren't about downloading the tools and installing Google Chrome, things like that. Watch the videos more than once. What I really recommend is watch the video and then watch it again and code along with it. Okay, watch the video once. Just watch it. Just absorb it. Be an active watcher. But then you're going to need to watch it again and code along as I do things. Okay, so when it gets, gets to the replication of the logo site, for example, watch the video, maybe not the whole thing, maybe just skim it, maybe just understand how the process is getting set up, and then restart, get yourself set up to do exactly the same thing, and code alongside with me in the video. Do this now, because this habit, even if it feels unnecessary, or even if you think... You already know a little bit of HTML and CSS. You can skip all of this. Please, please, please bear with me and do this because this habit is going to be critical later on. Okay, I promise. With that, thanks guys for listening to